K Pasa, people, my people. It is I, Photo Dave. This is another Toy Picks live stream where normally we would discuss what figures came out in the last week that look phenomenal for action figure photography. And we will be doing some of that. But today, something happened that I honestly had no idea was happening. And that is Marvel Legends fired off a live stream. Truly, until I was getting ready for this, I didn't know that was happening. And in fact, the thumbnail is a redesign from what I originally had planned to talk about, which fortunately for that live stream or for that live stream showing up, wasn't a whole lot because there wasn't a whole lot that was shown off in the past week that I thought was worthy of the photos. So. If you're part of the replay crew, let me know what you see in the past week that you thought was awesome. And let me know what you thought of today's Marvel Legends live stream. I'm curious. I have thoughts. Many of them good. One maddeningly frustrating. Anywho, we have Mr. Autobot Reviews hanging out in the chat, sir. I did. And in fact... I remembered that you tagged me, and I saw this question, and I got on YouTube real quick. I'm like, oh, those are pretty sweet. I really dug the one with Blitzwing. He looks brutal. He looks angry and brutal, and that makes me happy. I don't know why. Clearly, I'm sick in the head. Thank you for stopping by, sir. Much appreciated. Ah, Mr. Spencer. Hola! I couldn't watch a live stream. I was working and understaffed. That is okay. I am good with that. We're okay. We'll survive. I appreciate you stopping by and saying hi anyway, John. Skewerator legends are looking sweet. I can't say that they don't look good. Whew. All right. So why don't we just, because this might, this might be a bit talking about these things. So how about what I do is we start right off with some of the stuff I had planned to talk about right now. And we have here Bones McCoy from Haya Toys. Now, I know a lot of people didn't necessarily like this Star Trek because it created, from what I understand, an alternate timeline. I'm not a big Star Trek guy. I enjoyed this movie, but I could see where if it really threw off a lot of people that were big time Star Trek fans, I can see why they didn't enjoy it so much. It would be like Star Wars branching off into an alternate timeline and like, Luke never discovers Darth Vader's his father or something. I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure exactly how much it screwed it up. But I can understand if you're an old school Trekkie not being too geeked about this. However, I can't fault the figure. I think it looks pretty good. Hyatt Toys stuff. I need to... I've never gotten a Hyatt Toys figure. And I feel like that needs to be remedied. That, Figma, and Revel Tech. Those three properties, or those three brands, I suppose, I need to pick up. I need to check them out, see how they work. This guy obviously has all kinds of things, and you know I'm going to appreciate that. So if you're into the Star Trek big time, what are you thinking of this thing? Are you digging the figure? That's that is what I'm mostly curious about. Ooh, okay. We're out of there. See if we've got comments on bones before I head back. See, glad to see Star Trek figures. Like Joe, they were starved too. Yeah, you don't see much of them lately. So it is good for those who are big time Star Trek fans to see him pop up again. That looks great. I have also never gotten a Hyatt Toys figure and want to. Yeah, that needs to be, I feel like it's just something I should do, especially if I'm gonna do like toy videos and stuff. I saw their ra Rambo, but 120 is steep. It is, and that's where you kind of wonder, 
is the gamble going to be worth it? There's some things like I know what I'm getting into when it comes to, say, a Rebel Tech figure. So when I go for one of those, my choice will be well informed. There aren't a lot of people that talk about the highest stuff. So it really feels like a much bigger gamble than it does with other stuff or than other stuff feels like. So yeah, when we're talking steep, when we're talking pricing, woo, it does get tricky when it comes to that, especially with those crazy pricing and or those crazy prices. And this Bones McCoy is 110. So that plus shipping and plus tax is going to put you over 120 as well. Now, what else here? I saw, let me go. Let's get Hyatt Toys all set here. They released uh, or showed off a Daryl Dixon as well. Oh, where is it? Let's see here. Hmm. All right, Haya, show me. Here we go. They showed this guy off. Now, I don't know my Walking Dead. Again, bad nerd. And I say again because every live stream, I pretty much tell the world I am indeed a bad nerd. But I like, I don't know. I don't know that show well enough to say whether or not the cloth goods look a little too big on them. So I'm not sure there. I mean, from my eye, from the naked eye, they do look a little, I don't know, that shot's pretty cool. But sometimes they look a little over, I don't know, I mean, they do have coats that are like that, so maybe that's all right. I like, the one thing I can't fault Haya for is it looks like they can get into all kinds of good poses. And that head sculpt, that is amazing. Like, I don't know my Walking Dead, but I know that actor. Yeah, they do come with tons of stuff. I can't, uh, I can't say it's a bad figure. I can, however, say this thing will look great under your lights and in front of your lens, especially with all the dark colors. You get to shoot this thing, like I've said several times, it's basically a cheat code when they've got all that black that they're wearing or all those dark clothes. Makes it a lot easier to shoot. Whew. Wreck ship. Ahoy, matey. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Especially since I haven't been on the socials hardly at all. Let's see, man. That likeness is on point. Yeah, that's, that's, it's really good. <laughs> ah, screw right I see your comment, but I can't click. Here we go. You see the Kong Godzilla movie yet, Dave? Was good. Figures would be nice, especially Little Kong. I have not. You know what I want to see and I never got to is Godzilla minus one. I heard that was so good. And so I feel like I want to see that first. But maybe we'll see, especially if I can't find how to watch that, uh, you know, easily. Okay, so it is good to hear it was good. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. There was, oh, come on, big bad. I know, I feel like I'm kind of racing through this stuff. I saw this stuff, and when we're talking about photos, it's all about accessory sets. That is, that is some old school popping corn action right there. By the way, my tea tonight isn't actually tea. I forgot that I ran out of tea, and I'd already put honey in this cup. So this is hot water with honey. It's still tasty because of the honey. And I also, I believe I'm addicted to hot liquids. But that's all beside the point. I think this is really cool. Even though I don't know a lot of the old school stuff, I don't necessarily know what I'm looking at the whole way. I know these are big bowls of popcorn, and that's obviously fire going on. I'm assuming that in this setup, the kernels would have been poured into this bad boy, and this would have done all the popping. But anyway, every time I see an accessory set like this, I think it's really cool. 
I get stoked about it. I ain't stoked when we got fire. I was hoping there'd be more, but not really. Not really much there. Let's look at the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom here just real quick because we need to do that. Let's see, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Primal Collection Series 2, Raving. Ooh! Not sure. Yeah, we did we see those? Oh, that's sweet. I don't know that we did see this, did we? Was this something that got unlocked on like the last few days? That's really cool. <laughs> I don't know how I missed this. I love the big crazy hats going on here. I can't remember what these are called, but that's just a cool look. Ooh, how did I miss that? And again, anything AWOC is going to look good in front of your camera, man. You guys are going to be stoked with that, I think. I need to pick some of those up, too. Let's see, Godzilla Minus One was really, really good. That's what I hear. I hear it's pretty much the best Godzilla movie that was ever made. Let's see, check that one out, too. That one first is right, how I saw them. Sweet. All right, I'll be doing the Skew Raider order. See, should be available streaming or physical media soon. Awesome. I can't wait. Like, seriously, I'm a little ticked at myself that I didn't make it to the theater for that one. Because everybody was just talking about how crazy it was. Let's see, minus one first. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm in. And then I can get the others with streaming. Is the... Are the effects like crazy? Like, we all know there are some movies that you don't necessarily need to see in a theater. Like, any kind of sort of just a regular old drama, usually. Comedies, usually. But we know that the big action spectacles and all that stuff, you should see in a theater. I'm assuming Godzilla vs. Kong should be seen in a theater just like Godzilla minus one should have been seen in the theater. Am I right? Or am I okay? It's, is everything bad going to happen to me? Because I haven't seen those in the theater yet. Let's see. Victor Von Doom, world taking over popcorn machine. <laughs> there, there it is. That's what we need. We need a Victor Von Doom. We need one of those Mezco Dr. Dooms hanging out with that popcorn machine. See, very nice raving. Yeah, that raving is cool. This is me just needing to run a bunch of ads and make a bunch of money so I can start getting this stuff again. Yeah, I think so. I think so, John. He's uh, he's ridiculous how good that thing is. See, yeah, it unlocked last night, I think. Sweet. Thank you, Rex Ship. I appreciate it. See, killing it. Didn't see that either. Nice. Yeah, that's that's really cool. <laughs> what was I thinking? I was thinking of Wondagore. I can't remember. The little He-Man type figures. When I saw the arm wings on there, I'm like, oh, man, is that something we saw? Then I realized, no, 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 no. These are not little He-Man type figures. Great job on all the Godzilla and Kong content, really. Monarch Legend of Monsters won't be disappointed. Oh, man. Oh, I'll, have to, I'll have to do a whole lot of searching here, won't I? Let's see. Great series, too. Monarch was, it was on Apple, right? Apple TV or whatever. The Apple streaming platform. All right. So we've got that raving out of there. Very rad. Very awesome. We looked at Daryl. We looked at Hank. We looked at the raving. We looked at the accessories here. Why don't we check out the daily deals real quick, and then we'll get to the legends. Okay. If anybody's into some Masterverse new Attorney of Battle Armor He-Man, you're going to save a couple bucks. Fourteen thirty-nine. That I don't think that's too bad. What are these normally? I think they're around twenty-three or something. Twenty-three, twenty-five. 
I don't collect them, so I'm not sure. I am kind of surprised that you can find man bats on sale. It was one that I thought looked really good. I just don't really, you know, there's just not quite enough there for me to pick him up, but I still thought he looked great. So if anybody's all about him, go for it. Sun Man. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at Swamp Thing. All right, if anybody doesn't have Swamp Thing, he is the one figure out of McFarland Toys that I've heard gets pretty much universal praise. So if you've been on the fence about Swamp Thing, this looks like the time to pick him up. I thought this beast man looked really good. Let's see. He looks cheaper too. Like these are all pretty big time discounts. 35% on him, 40% on the DC Multiverse Bat Cycle. If anybody's into that from the Flash, I believe. Yeah, that's that's what it says. And then we've got Bizarro for 35% off. Looking good. We've got the Revelation Tila for 60% off. Wow. Okay, if anybody's into this Tila look, you can get her for like $9.20. That's, that's pretty crazy. You don't have her yet. And then Multiverse Flash. So, yeah, if I'm, if I'm looking at these, I'm thinking easily the best deal is Swamp Thing. But it's not like I'm going to get him. I just think he's probably the best deal on here. Let me know what you guys are thinking with that. Whew. So many buttons. All right, we are out of there now. Let's switch it over. And we're going to start talking legends. Ha <laughs> ha! My head, it's, it's ginormous. It's called its own planetoid. All right. All right, folks, it is time to talk legends. And I'm on the Toy Arc website right now. Let's see. And I'm going to say something. I don't think it's all that controversial. I think that the team working within the parameters they have are doing an absolutely bang up job with this line. I don't want them because of the little problems that I still have with the articulation. And for that articulation to get fixed, I think what we're looking at is Disney either lowering the licensing fee or Hasbro lowering what they expect to get for their profit margin when it comes to Legends, or a combination of both. Because what I want is I want these to start getting the same articulation as classified. If they did that, I would dive back into Legends. Because I think the team is really, they're starting to get the details right. They're adding all kinds of accessories Paint looks good. The head sculpts look good. The bodies are getting better as they go along. Oh, I mean, I really like what they're doing. It's just so frustrating that they have the parameters they have on them. And it's possible that we find out in the future there aren't really all these hardcore parameters. They could go in and mess with the tooling and make better bodies or bodies that I would like more with like the ball peg waists and everything. But I, uh, my guess is because of GI Joe, honestly, that they just can't afford to do the tooling right now. I'm hoping in the future, they can go in and start tooling the regular diaphragm joint that we all have come to know and love with a ball peg waist. That would make me so happy that would bring their articulation into the 2020s and I would be stoked because everything else they're doing with this line, I think they're killing it. And it bums me out that that articulation just isn't up to what articulation is today, I guess, with so many other companies. But I think working within the parameters they've got, I think they're killing it, honestly. 
Yeah, frustrating. Anyway, that Ghost Rider looks really good. Ah, it won't let me push the button. There we go. Oh no, we're running into those same problems. Hurry up, StreamYard. All right, John, I know I just clicked your comment, but see if I can find it on the side here. Oh man, I don't understand what's happening. I never had these problems. Now I have these problems all the time. Let's see. Swamp Thing <clears throat> and the Cycle seem like solid deals. Ghost Rider is A+. Plus. Yeah, Ghost Rider is good, man. I mean, I think the team does a great job within the parameters they're given, or within, within what I assume are the parameters they're given. I shouldn't say for sure, but with so much of the other stuff that they're doing and nailing and painting right and things are looking great, Oh, I have to think that that is something they just can't do yet with that diaphragm twist and the ball peg waist. And it makes me sad. It makes me want to cry into my hot water with honey. Yeah, this thing looks aces. Trying to see. That is totally cut out, right? The little... Like almost where it looks like eyes in the front of the bike. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Ooh, that is a cool bike. I remember that bike very clearly. I love the look of that thing. Hang on, I want to go back to that shot real quick. You even have that painted there. We have, ooh, wow. Odometer, not odometer, speedometer. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, they they did a great job with this. But he's still got, it looks like, the waist cut. Oh, I know Luke Cage has the waist cut. And it makes me sad. And I think that's the same whip we've seen, but it doesn't really bother me that much. That Ghost Rider does. He just looks great. Oh, dear. Here we go. All right. Now we're getting into some craziness. Let's see here. See if we can make this stuff work here. Come on, StreamYard. Show me the things. There we go. Flames as the stands is a great idea. I think so, too. And I think, isn't that what they were going to try to do with uh, the Robbie Reyes, the Hell Charger? Was do something like that? I could swear that was something they were going to work on. Or that it would have happened had they been able to get it funded. All right. Come on, buttons. There we go. Iron Fist is one of my favorite Marvel heroes. I don't know tons about Iron Fist, but I've always liked his look. So I, I think, like, here again, right? Like, Luke Cage and Iron Fist look so good together. Like, these are great-looking figures. And we've got the... See, but we've got the diaphragm cut, which is perfect. I'm all good with the diaphragm cut. But then we've got the ab crunch instead of the ball peg at the waist. And that... The reason that bothers me so much is you can see where... They've turned the diaphragm a little bit here, and it's broken up both the sculpt and the detail of the costume. So, yeah, that's what bothers me with this kind of articulation. If there were a ball peg here, then the sculpt and the detail of the clothing and all that stuff would follow along the same line. Or at least you'd be able to make it look a little more natural. That's my big problem with this articulation scheme is it just doesn't look natural. Like it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like you can make it look natural. Whereas with G.I. Joe Classified, you can. And if McFarlane Toys ever got their articulation so it were consistent, so it was consistent across the line and maybe cut a little more of the diaper so there was a lot more movement at the waist and the thighs, 
then they would be killing it in that department as well. So it's just, I do wonder sometimes is, is it possible that legends, I mean, we know legends has been going on forever. Is it possible that they've been going on forever and they want to keep them sort of articulated the same way as they've always been done? And so that's why they're not doing it. Or is it that they really want to do it and really want to give them 2024 articulation, but are hampered by the Disney licensing fee and the profit margin that Hasbro expects them to get? Normally, I would throw in shareholders and all that, too. But there's no licensing fee on G.I. Joe. And I don't talk about shareholders with them. So it makes sense to me that the only thing keeping these from being perfect is i mean the difference between that and or between gi joe and legends is disney but i still feel like disney and hasbro need to meet in the middle so we can get legends figures that are oh up to snuff up to today's articulation standards again their paint and everything else they're doing it they look so good all the extra accessories they're so good it's that articulation that makes them so they don't work for me when it comes to the photo, photogenic figure realm. Ugh, that's what, that's the thing that is maddening. And I think that they're doing the best they can. And that's why everything looks so good. They just can't do the tooling to give them the, today's articulation. Ooh, we're getting chats. We'll see. Come on. Come on, StreamYard. Let's see. That classic Danny Rand reminds me of the Toy Biz one way back in the day. I probably had that. Are you talking the Toy Biz Legends or was there a Toy Biz 5-inch figure? I, I was a completionist on the early Legends for a long time. So I probably had them, but I didn't know my Iron Fist so well, so he didn't hold much nostalgia, I suppose. Love these legends shown. Yeah, man, they look so good. I mean, I really think with the parameters, with, with what I assume, again, I don't want to make things up here, with what I assume the parameters are that they have to work with, I think they're knocking them out of the park. Let's see, read the Immortal Iron Fist series. It was great. Immortal Iron Fist, eh? All right, I'll have to check that out. Mortal Iron Fist. How old is that? Was that around for a while? I still need to read the first Frank Miller or the Frank Miller Wolverine series. There's a lot to do there. Let's see. I hope they do the red variant one from Toy Biz too. Okay, I think that is the I think that is the old legends. I do remember there was a red variant in Legends. All right. I will now push the buttons. Ah. LBZ, good to see you, man. Yo, I've been getting ML on clearance, but seems I'll be getting Ghost Rider, the real Miss Marvel, and that Luke and Cage 2-pack. That's what I'm saying, man. They're looking good. And Miss Marvel, she looks really good, too. But she's one that suffers from just the diaphragm movement instead of a ball peg. So she breaks up the sculpt and she breaks up the detail of her costume. See, love the shows. Glad they're coming back. Good stuff. Watch every one of them. I saw, I don't think I finished out the Defenders on Netflix. Now that it's on Disney Plus, I should probably give it a shot. But, but I still have to make adjustments to my TV. Make it so I can actually see streaming stuff. Although I did finally see the most recent episode of X-Men 97. And wow. However, cable showed up. We all know what's going to happen. But still, wow. Anyway, I feel like the ab crunch looks worse on this figure. Due to the costume. Really shows off the issues with it. Yeah, and it's not even... For me, it's not even so much the fact that it is an ab crunch i suppose like it's not the aesthetic it's the lack of functionality with it like the lack of what you're able to do with just the ab crunch and it's possible also what we're going to have here 
is a waist twist. And if we have a waist twist, it kind of negates some of the problem. But I don't think you do. Usually when they put the diaphragm joint there and they put in an ab crunch, you don't get any kind of waist, waist twist. But having that belt there, having his little sash, if there was a waist twist, it wouldn't be so bad just because it's so hidden. Man, okay, it's going slow again, but it's not as slow as it was the other night, which made me sad. All right. Pushing the buttons. Disney might have arbitrary requirements on how they're made. They do on the miniatures game. Really? That sucks. I can't imagine, though, only because, I mean, you, you could be right. I mean, it's not that... The only reason that I say I can't imagine that's the case is to my left here is a Mafex X-Force Wolverine. Disney would have the rights to dictate how Mafex does their stuff as well, and he's got a ball peg waist. Now, I know he's obviously a lot pricier, but I just don't know. I think that's, that's what makes me think it's more a cost thing is because this Wolverine has a ball peg waist. I also grabbed him intentionally to show off what I mean. I think you guys all get it when it comes to why a ball peg is so much better than just an ab crunch or a waist cut and all that stuff. But if anybody's not sure about it, let me know or why I feel it's so much better when we're talking figure photography. It makes sense that they would have some of that control, though. Let's see, Immortal Iron Fist, 2006 to 2009. Sweet. That was past when I was reading. I got to get back into comics. I got to find time. Time is good. I like time. Hire people to do all my work so I can just read comics and take pictures of toys all day. What do you think? Hello, AR. Now, you were here at the beginning of the stream, and I did answer your question that, yes, I saw those pictures. The Blitzwing one was my favorite. See, did you see my toy pics? I did. I did. That was, you were actually the first post on the stream earlier. So I did check that out. And yep, absolutely. Let's see. Time is the hardest thing for me to get. I know, I know. And when you're, one of the things they talk about when it comes to running businesses and all that stuff is the first person you want to hire is an admin. So they pretty much keep all the crap from coming up to you. <laughs> and then you probably want department heads. So then the department heads keep things from the admin. And then the admin keeps the few things that slide through from you, except the big time important stuff. That's what I ultimately need. I need an admin and I need department heads and I need huge teams. And right now I've got me. <laughs> so anyway, there is a plan. I just need to make it happen. Woo, AR. Many, many things. Yay, all right. I'm not going to, let's see here. Thank you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I've gone back to being the majority of the chat. No worries, man. You're good. You're good. And then spam reads. Here I come. <laughs> Nah, you're good. You're all right. I'm not worried. I wouldn't be too worried. Okay, but we got through Iron Fist here. And now uh, that's a great shot. Yep. Did a good job with that one. God, those two together look so good, guys. Mm. Just looking a little more at Luke there. He's got the crunch, and he's going to have the twist. And the twist, oh, the twist makes me so sad. But they showed off all the hands that Danny comes with, and, and it's insane. That is also insane. That head has a roadblock vibe. Like, looking at it, doesn't it? Like, it looks a little bit like the roadblock head. Maybe the Mezco roadblock head? Huh. Like an angry roadblock. 
Like I always think of Luke Cage as being having a slightly blockier head, and that has just a roadblock vibe. I don't know. I don't get it. But I think it still looks good. I'm not I'm not faulting him for anything. Oh, here we go. Okay, we've talked about Luke Cage. Whoo. Yeah, let's see. I'm making an individual review on Legacy 4 Pack. What is that? Oh, Auto Trooper. Got it. Should I dare mention the Kiss Players aspect of the figure? <laughs> That was weird stuff when that was coming out when it came to vinyl tech. When I was getting those way back when they had the Kiss players, I think that's when they first introduced it. And that was the first time I saw Transformers and thought, all right, this is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on now. Let's see, Legends are fire. Look at, I mean, she looks so good. And that's, what was she called there? It wasn't it wasn't Miss Marvel here, was it? Or Captain Marvel? Was ah, why am I thinking Thunderbird? Even though I know it's not Thunder Warbird. She was Warbird in this costume, right? Let's see. I have four Kiss players figures. That's all right. We won't hold it against you, Ar. Like I said, man, I almost ended up with a few of those just because they look so good with the vinyl tech stuff. Warbird, that's, yep, there you go. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. That's what I was thinking she was, but, I mean, it took, clearly you heard my entire thought process. Thunderbird? Wait, no, that's an X-Men guy who lasted an issue. Warbird. Grazie, gents. But, yeah, I mean, if you look at her just looking at that image, she looks phenomenal. She looks incredible. That's what I'm talking about, where it feels like they're stepping up the quality as much as they're possibly allowed to step up the quality. She looks great. Anybody that is a big-time Legends fan, I think, is going to love this wave. I just think it looks so good. And that picture of her, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to when it comes to not having the ball peg waist, but instead having this ab crunch here, is you turn this and you can see it breaks up the sculpt and it breaks up the design of the costume. If she could have like a ball peg waist, then this could turn with it and you could make it line up better. That's the thing that drives me nuts with this setup. But I have to say for what they're able to do, I mean, what I assume, again, what I assume their parameters are, they're knocking it out of the park if those really are their parameters. And if what John said earlier about them having to kind of do things in a certain way that Disney allows is true, maybe this is the best they can do and the best they'll ever be allowed to do, which kind of bums me out. But, yeah, like that head sculpt... She looks fantastic. And I don't know, like, she has to be one of those characters that really reels back and punches. And to do that, you got to turn at the diaphragm and the waist and really set up your legs right to get ready for a punch and all that stuff. So, mm, dang, she looks great, though. Like, if I... If I didn't have my hangups about wanting these all to be very photogenic, doing things rather than just standing there, this one would definitely be a pickup. Like here she is just in a standing there pose and she looks great. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out how to make the whole, no, that didn't work. Come on, there we go. Yeah, she looks incredible. They did a great job on the details here. And she looks like the clothing is even dull. Like there's no shininess going on except for the gold, like the thunderbolt symbol there, the lightning symbol. She looks fantastic. And then there was Scar. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know much about Scar, so help me out. 
Did the Legends team nail him? Did they do a great job on Hulk's kid? They are not going to lie. The Kiss players' designs are kind of fire. Not the girls, the robots. Yeah, when they first came out, what was it? They made like a hot rod figure that was based off the Mirage mold in vinyl tech, or I suppose, what were they here? Alternators. I'm not sure they actually did that in alternators, but yeah, that hot rod I considered getting for quite some time. I think they did an Optimus Prime that was a Kiss player too, but I'm not sure. Dear Lord, have mercy, not the girls. <laughs> I know they did a Prime that was a Ram truck. Or I think it was a Ram. Might have been a Dakota. Looking good. Just checking, Skew Raider. Thank you. I don't know anything about Scar. Like, this is where I'm starting to show, forget just bad nerd. This is straight up not reading comics in the last 20 years. And he was the one that was the guest for one of the knives, right? Like, when they were showing a tease. By the way, does anybody have any? Yeah, I think like this knife, I think was a tease. And everybody pretty much guessed it was Scar, except me, because I had no frame of reference. But does anybody have any idea on what that rock tease was at the end of today's stream? Man, that's a good head sculpt. Look at this. You could almost make Scar He-Man. Just change the color there. You'd be good to go. Again, though, the detail on this thing, I'm trying to find, let's see here, because they had it going, oh, it's on this arm so much. Let's see. It's on this arm a little more. Ooh, and then which one's this again? Uh, oh, I should know. Superior Spider-Man. Another one that looks great. I want to see what his ab situation is here. Ah! Ab twist. Grr. Good looking figure, though. Oops. We don't want to do that. There we go. Again, I mean, those eyes are so cool. Oh, they did a great job on this. AR, the alternators are pretty much KISS players, but not creepy. All right. I'm glad you know what's going on there because it, it had been a while. I was a snob back then, so I don't think I had any alternators. I had just the vinyl techs, and I kind of missed those. I thought those were some fun figures. I have about half of the alternators. I just like them. They look good in vehicle mode, but they suck so much to transform. Did they have... How about the Grimlock? Did they make Grimlock and alternators? I don't remember. I remember really thinking that Grimlock was cool. And so was the smoke screen mold with like Blue Streak and Smoke Screen. I thought they were great. But then they had to go and make Prowl a different mold that I didn't think was as good. Let's see. They do all look good in vehicle mode. There are some. Yeah, I would say Smokescreen. I would say the Mustang looks really good when you transform him. I would say the Subaru, the WRX, looks really good when you transform it. Uh, the Lambos, eh, they were a little flat. I didn't like the Lambos so much. Trying to think of, like, Dead End, he looked really good. He was, oh man, which mold was that? He might have been a Lambo mold, actually. Maybe it was just the colors. Maybe Sideswipe and Sunstreaker didn't hold themselves. Like, they didn't look as good in that mold as Dead End did just because of the colors. I don't know. But Superior Spider-Man here. Looking good. Again, Team's Fire. Let's see. Could be Conan. Oh, good call. I didn't think about that for Scar. I wonder, chat might be lagging a little bit here, or it might be just flying through. The whole city skyline in the eyes of the one head sculpt is a nice touch. Should be amazing for photos. 
Is that what that is they've got going on? Kind of looks like it, huh? Yeah, he's going to he's going to be good. As long as you don't have to twist that waist, he's going to look really good. LBC Scar could look like a Conan if he had a different paint job. I get it. I like Superior Spider-Man. Yeah, I think I again if their parameters are what I suspect their parameters are, they're killing it. I just wish they could have that bald vague waist. Grimlock alternator was a Mustang. Right, right. He was, I think that they all were pretty much the same between vinyl tech and alternators. I think it was just the difference was basically vinyl tech was metal. But I thought the Mustang was good. So I thought Grimlock was pretty good. It didn't seem to fit Wheeljack, but I still liked it. I thought I thought it was perfect for Grimlock. And I remember at the time thinking it would have been perfect for Shockwave. But what did they use for Shockwave instead? I can't remember. But yeah, I thought like there were some characters that things were just perfect for. And I thought the Smokescreen mold and I thought the Grimlock mold were perfect for those two characters. And Blue Streak. It's been a long time since I've talked alternators and vinyl tech. Bringing back Kiss Player days and <laughs> memories. <laughs> Same reaction, Dave. LOL. Cool stuff, though. Yep. <laughs> it was weird. Like, wait, what are you doing right now, Transformers? I'm confused. I agree, John Spencer. Yeah, mostly. I mean, all the cars looked good, but there were just a few... I didn't think most of the robots were great, but there were some that I thought were perfect. I love the wheel jack. See, the wheel jack, he looked good. I don't hate the Mustang at all. It just felt like he was one that should have had more, like in the old school days, he didn't have the huge broad chest that was sticking out. So I would have thought you'd set him up with maybe the top of a car, a, just a different mold. But he still looks good. It's just that that mold is perfect for Grimlock. If you're going to make Grimlock a car. But I still can't get the op. Oh, I never had the op. I think that was about when I was slowing down. Wreck ship. I will probably have to pick up the Superior Spider-Man and put him with my Iron Spider and Scarlet Spider and Venom. Yeah, I can see, I can see needing to do that. He does look good. Like, I can't, again, I can't fault anybody for thinking this thing looks awesome. That is sweet. I'm very curious as to if you'll actually be able to do that. Hopefully those tolerances are nice. It looks like all the legs are on the ground. I mean, I can't see how they couldn't be. You're not just going to get the front two and have them stay like that. But that's a cool looking pose. And I do like that it looks like they're really getting the finishes down too. They weren't getting, they weren't worried about the finishes so much before. But even these arm bracers look a little shiny, whereas a lot of the other parts of them look dull. And I think that's great. That's a great pose. Ladies and gentlemen, we have. The old Knuckle Head, and everybody is a Knuckle Head. At least I do. Wolverine, most days, is probably my very favorite comic book character. And it looks like they did a really good job here. I love that he's got the diaphragm cut. That makes me happy. I love a lot less that he has the ab crunch. I almost wish for this one, because the belt is here, that the ab crunch weren't here, but rather the waist twist, because the belt would probably hide the waist twist, and then you could turn it, and this part could go. It would make it. It would make more sense. You could line up the design a lot easier with a waist twist than you'll be able to with this ab crunch. But it's Wolverine. I think they nailed the costume. They nailed the look. Yeah. You have to be crazy not to love Wolverine. And that astonishing mask, I think they did a good job there. The only thing that throws me off, and let me know what you guys think about this, is 
and I don't know for sure. It seems like the shoulder pad, and maybe this is only because of what figures have been in the past and some of the older images I can remember from comics. Because to be honest, I read some of Astonishing, but I don't remember it that well. It feels like the shoulder pad should have maybe a different, like a different finish at least, you know, maybe be a little different color, like maybe a slightly darker blue, or at least be a little shinier. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys remember pretty clearly whether or not that was the case. I do enjoy that he got a new mold. I kind of thought that we'd get that Wolverine mold pretty much forever. Because it is a great mold. But here, ooh, ooh, with that ball peg. If it had been a ball peg, this Logan would have been mine. For sure. He honestly might have been mine with a waist twist. And I do love that he's got more hands doing more things. Like, you know that I loves me my Mafex, but Mafex doesn't have a pointer finger. <laughs> oh, Wolvie. I am a fan. How can you not love the old Knuckle head? Mr. Spencer, I'll probably have to pick up Wolverine. I only have one of the two packs, but he's in black. And I want one in some version. Classic look. This is a good version. I think that when you think classic, it really is pretty much Tiger Stripe, the brown suit, and this astonishing one. Arguments could probably be made for the X-Force one. But there aren't many Wolverine outfits that he's had that you think of as really well-known costumes that, hey, man, that's my Wolverine. I grew up with that perfect outfit, you know? Like, for me, I will always love the brown suit, the early Burns-style brown suit, more than any other costume, I think. I guess I shouldn't say that for sure, but currently, it's my favorite, probably Nostalgia. Also, probably the fact that it makes sense that he would have, like, brown colors, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. I just like how clean it is. But second is definitely the Tiger Stripe. Those were the two that I remember growing up with the most. Even though I remember the other ones, those two had, like, they have imprinted themselves on my brain. Whereas somebody who's a little younger, this is the costume that's imprinted itself on that person's brain. And yeah, I think I think this definitely qualifies as a classic look, Wolby. Bub is awesome. Bub is awesome. And he's not a pretty boy who sings on Broadway. That is not nice. Stop it, Dave. Oh yeah, brown suit is great. Just not sure I want to hunt one down. Yeah, he can get crazy with the prices. It's weird, like. One thing I've noticed with figures is as soon as kind of a definitive version of a really well-known costume comes out, you got to snatch it up because those are the ones that aren't going to go on clearance. Now, it's got to be an awesome character, too. Like, whenever Spider-Man comes out in red and blue, it seems like you better go out and find him in a hurry because you won't be able to find him after, like, the first week or something, you know? But, yeah. Yeah, I think I think he looks good. Snickety snickety. The only problem I've got, besides kind of what they have to do with the articulation, again, you can see here that it's breaking up the sculpt, making photos of much bigger pain in the butt, but is the fact that they don't have some kind of shine going on on the claws. Everything else looks dull. It looks like the finish is perfect. If we had just a little touch of some kind of paint or maybe molded in a slightly shinier plastic or maybe even a lighter plastic. Uh, and then we have the 85 years of Marvel. I do love that they put this out there. I think that these look, they look great. Like if they could tweak the articulation, these would be perfect. Every one of these is kind of must have. I mean, depending on your era, the only ones that I'm not so sure about 
one, I'm a Wolverine Mark. So even though this wasn't really my era for Logan, I would totally get that if I were big into Legends. I would actually get this entire bottom row. I would definitely get Ghost Rider. And after that, I'd probably consider these guys if just their waist articulation were different. But that's it. Like, I don't want to sit here. I know I don't talk about Legends a lot. And I don't want to sit here and just dog Legends. Because I don't think that that team's doing a bad job. Again, my suspicion is they're working within parameters that make it so they can't update the bodies. Drives me crazy because everything else they're doing, they just look really good. I'm annoyed. <laughs> oh, and then we go back to Danny Catch. There are a couple Dannys going on in this wave. I don't know. It is the Danny wave after all. Yeah, I need to get a Spidey. I had a four-inch one, but I gave it away. Ooh, you know what I gave? I gave my niece, what was it? Remember when the first retro, not the early, early, but when the retro Spidey came out with the new body with kind of the ab crunch and the diaphragm, not the ab crunch, but sort of, well, I mean, it is the inverted ab crunch or whatever they call it. I gave that to my niece, gave one of those to her. I kept one. I was able to order two, fortunately. And then I saw like prices at one time were around a hundred bucks for that figure. And that's what I'm talking about. Like he was obsolete within six months, but at one time he was the definitive Spider-Man. So yeah, it feels like whenever definitive figures come out, we got to jump on them or we're never going to see them again. In fact, hang on. Let's look here real quick. All right. Now, Superior Spider-Man is a figure that will be a select few. I mean, probably a few more than a select few will be into Superior Spider-Man. But I would say this is a look for Superior Spider-Man that you'd better jump on if you like him. Ghost Rider, for sure, if you like him, you better jump on him. Scar, it sounds like that's a definitive look. So again, if you dig Scar, you better jump on him. And that entire bottom row, all of those, like I said, if I were into Legends, if they had a ball peg waist, I would get that entire bottom row. So we're looking here at definitive versions of characters. So I will say, based on what I've noticed in my years of collecting, these aren't going to go on clearance. I mean, if they do, it's going to be because the prices are so astronomical that you're going to sit there and wonder, how do they even feel justified trying to get that much? But if their prices are reasonable, and I'll be honest, I didn't look up to see what the pricing was going to be. But if they're reasonable, these are going to get snatched up. So honestly, I would not wait for sales on any of these things. Not that I'm 100%. It might be that scar and superior spider-man end up kind of going on clearance but i don't think so i genuinely think if you want these as soon as they go up for pre-order you better do it because you might not find them in the store and you know me you know i'm not the guy that's going to sit here and try and sell people on legends <clears throat> mr spencer I agree. Bottom row plus Ghost Rider, definitely. Maybe the other two, but maybe not. Yeah, it kind of depends on the era, but that bottom row and Ghost Rider, ooh, they all look good. See, if they wanted a true Danny wave, they need Moonstar. Right? That's true. That's true. But they already did her. They'd have to reissue her on a different teen buck, I think. That would be kind of funny, though, just a straight-up Danny wave. That would, that would crack me up. I might be tempted just because they thought to do that. AR, I'm terrorizing the Stellaris Prime Discord server with images of KISS players. You are not nice. That is mean. This is Somebody's going to bust out the ban hammer on that one. Let's see, and my Kiss Players Custom. <laughs> oh, dear. 
People are going to be sad. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, gents. Well, I think that's what we've got for this one. So, like I said, if you're still listening, I genuinely believe if you want these, you better pre-order because we genuinely, like, I don't know if this stuff is even hitting shelves. I haven't been to Target, and Meyer, Walmart, or anything in quite a bit looking for Legends. So it's not that I don't know if it's hitting shelves. I don't know the quantities that they're hitting shelves with. So truly, if you really want them, I would suggest a pre-order on these things. Yeah, they all look good. And if you're into Legends and you don't hate the articulation, I'd load up. Like, I, it, yeah, I'm, I am so bummed that they don't have ball bag waist. But at this point, I am indeed a broken record. So, it's time to get out of here. What do we got, Mr. Spencer? I just saw a pre-order of 4-inch Seekers. Been considering them. Man. Seekers Transformers will kill all our wallets. It's an angry line. I am too deep into the rabbit hole. <laughs> I used to be that guy. I had almost all of Cybertron, almost all of Energon. Cybertron, to this day, I think, is the best Transformers line that's ever been made. And I'm talking the first Cybertron, so the part that was in the Armadaverse or the Unicron trilogy. I can't get out. Yeah, that's bad, Juju. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Nobody can help you. You've got to you got to do it yourself. Here's the thing though, you've got to want to, and let's be honest, I don't think you want to. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> he doesn't want to. I'm pretty sure. All right, guys, that's what we've got for this one. So thanks for stopping by as always. And until next time, have fun and happy snapping. If only I could make a Transformers face.